Welcome back to the Bahamas. We're currently in the Berry Islands, which is a chain of islands. There's tiny little islands everywhere. We have had our own anchorage for the past week. Actually, we're laughing because we saw the first woman today after a week on the beach. So we feel pretty lucky. We've just left this anchorage in search of some more other private anchorages. <laughs> and yeah, it's gonna be a day of sailing. We've had to time it perfectly because there's some tides we have to take into consideration. There's some really, really shallow patches that we wanna go over at the right time. We've got 10 knots of wind. We're sailing at four knots right now. So we're all outside on deck. It's very, very chill. Got the babies out here. This is what I enjoy about the Bahamas is the fact that you can come up on the anchor and sail the entire way to your next destination. You're looking at tides and all that sort of stuff. And you would think you're just in less of a hurry so that you do everything sort of the way that you should do it. It's what we're going 10 miles. The so wholesome you can, sailor. You can just sail Hashtag the whole way. wholesome sailor. bad. Riley is doing every single thing today because I've been up since 1am and I have no energy today. Need some sleep. I had a big couple of days on the laptop and yes, before you tell me to turn my screen red and turn the blue light off, I have mine automatic. I'm the warmest screen you'll ever see. In fact, people pick up my phone during the day and say, wow, do you have like a different phone? What's going on? And I'm like, I just have the red screen on all the time. Anyway, enough about my lack of sleep. This is amazing. Let's talk about this. how great this is. It's beautiful. Darwin's growing a lot of hair on his head. He is. Look at you, you got a little fro. <laughs> I need dolphins. I saw some dolphins back there. Do you want to help me look for some up here? No, 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 Lenny. For a lot of people, it was no surprise when I went for the Rapido, especially sailors or people that have been out on the water and really understand what it is that we're trying to accomplish or do and the priorities that we've got in doing it. But there was enough people that were surprised by the decision that I thought today would be a really good time to explain one of the major points that, that I think is going to be beneficial. Today, it's blowing 10 knots and we are going at five knots. And that's perfectly fine, it's beautiful on board. That doesn't happen all that often on any sailboat, right? This is champagne sailing. And if you've got a boat that can go faster, it means that you'll be able to go out in conditions when the ocean is flatter and you'll ultimately be more comfortable more often. For example, in the Rapido, I think that we'll be able to go at seven knots in five knots of wind we want to, as a family, be spending more time in that comfort zone. That's one of the major, major points. Today is a perfect example of that. It's 10 knots, the water is dead flat, and, I mean, we're, it's, we might as well be on anchor, we might as well be at a marina. So maximising that time is what I'm all about. I want mama, I want mama. Yeah, this is yeah. So the channel, Sarah, goes within six metres of this coastline here. So I can see it, that darker water there. Exactly. I have to follow that around. Exactly. Jeez, are you sure we need to get that close? No. The water's just gotten cloudy, so we're going to turn off the water maker so that our filters don't get too filled up and we have to clean them. Out here's our shallow sandbar. It's going to get a lot shallower than that. Yeah. I'm actually standing back from the front of the boat because if we hit, I'm just going to go woo, right over the front. We dropped anchor, Riley convinced me to come out on the boat and look for lobster. Still lobster season, so that's what we're after today. Is Dad going to get a lobster? Yeah, we don't spear lobster. Don't By go. not spearing them, you can actually look under their tail to see if they have eggs. And if they do have eggs, you can put them back. or something. 
something. Anyway. I'm proud of not shooting a fish. I was hunting this Kibera. I didn't know what size it was. I stayed down, stayed down, and he came out. And I just, I was trying to get a breath, and I'd slowly crept up. But when I saw how big he was, I was like, no, no I'm, not, I'm not shooting you. You're, you're too big. You're going to be full of sick with terror and bloody. A bit tough, tough and old boot. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. We didn't get anything. No lobster. What have you knocked up here, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> I have never heard that term. Really? <laughs> I created a vegetable curry with chickpeas in it. Well, thank you. I'm so excited. My pleasure. A scary dinosaur. A scary dinosaur. Okay. No, a T-Rex. A T-Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's a dinosaur. The eyes is blue. It's blue. He does have blue eyes. Yeah. This morning, it'd be a really good idea to go and check out the Blue Hole, which is just across the water from us. Bradley and I have actually been here before with some friends of ours, and it's beautiful. We're going to show Sarah, who's our crew, if you guys haven't met her yet. She's been on board with us for how long now? Two and a half weeks, I yeah. think. No. It feels like a long time. Oh, my God. It feels like I'm mates with your dad. Eddie, we're going to the Blue Hole. The Blue Hole? Yeah, it's the Blue Hole. What are you doing there? Just dropping the anchor out. Yeah. Are they dinosaur footprints? Yeah. Oh. I said, have you seen these before? And Sarah goes, is that a crab snail? <laughs> 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 they are crab snails. That's yeah. a perfect way to explain yeah. them. OK, we're here. The Bahamas has been referred to as the Blue Hole Capital of the World. The Bahamas, geologically, is actually made of limestone flats that have been pushed up from the ocean floor. Caves are mostly made out of limestone because it's a rock that's easily dissolved and washed away. So this is why there are so many blue holes here. The sides of this blue hole at Hoffman's Key are lined with caves, stalagmites, stalactites and columns. Apparently there's a turtle in here too, but we've never seen it. Out. OK. I'm going to jump for the single reason that these mosquitoes are literally running me off the edge of the cliff. <laughs> it's actually higher now that I'm here. All right, she's doing it. She's doing it. <laughs> Ready, set, go! <laughs> it's actually nice. It's a nice temperature. Oh, that's cold, actually. Quite chilly. My heart. If you can, you not on my phone, but you can press me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, nah, you, you're definitely overthinking it. Just jump. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bum. Hey, Lenny. Hi, Dada. <laughs> Up you get, mate. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> me at the big boat. Ha! I, I wouldn't say I'm getting more proud, but I'm trying to show you guys the fish that I don't spear. 
because I think that's important and I'd like to share that on my Instagram as well because I think that we should be sharing photos of the fish that we decide not to shoot and I found the perfect size grouper and hopefully it's still at the spot that we marked yesterday. That's what we're gonna do today and I'm actually gonna set up a float line with a float. Where's the plug? Yeah. So today I went for a look around underwater. I didn't find the groper that was the perfect size that I'd eyeballed the day before and really was the fish that I wanted, so I let everything else swim away. We're trying to be even more selective now than we have been in the past, and we did still have a tiny little bit of smoked fish left in the fridge. We've been eating smoked fish salads for the past two days after Riley cooked up his last batch, and my goodness, it's so, so good. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Thanks for the so salad. Thanks. No problem. Thanks to Riley for the fish. <laughs> there was no towels outside. Hey guys, just Yo, popping up, up to fill you in on what's been going on lately. You might have seen in our last episode, we are going to be hosting a regatta in the Bahamas, one of our favorite places ever, this spring. We wanted to say a huge thank you to the Moorings for their support in providing us with these beautiful boats. They're lending us a Moorings 5000 sailing catamaran, a Moorings 4000 sailing cat, and a Moorings 433 power cat. Uh, this is gonna be a comments-based thing, so you need to be a patron. You need to tell us why you should be the one to come in 100 words or less, and then the most liked comment uh, they get to come with us. So build some bots and get them to like your comment. Tell your friends to like your comment. And, oh, and then write your name in there so we can match you up with who's on our Patreon. The winners will be announced on social media. Yeah, stay tuned. Thank you guys so much. This is gonna be a blast. So as well as the competition today, if you'd like another opportunity to win, you can still enter through the Moorings website. Just visit moorings.com forward slash SLV dash giveaway. And that's free for anyone to enter. I'll put the link for that one in the video description as well. And those two winners will be announced on our YouTube community page and Riley's Instagram on the 1st of March. How you going, Lenny? Uh, that's my tide. It's in the water. Did you lose your kite? Yeah. No more kite. We'll get you a good kite, all right? That one didn't fly very well. Yeah. It sort of just went into the water all the time, didn't it? Follow me this way, everyone. I'm the Pied Piper. <laughs> Do you want to tell everyone what happened to your back? I got attacked. But seriously, what happened? I got attacked by a giant squid. What happened was I spotted a lobster. We've been hunting for lobster for days. So I ran back to shore, got Riley. I was like, you have to come out and get this lobster. Then we ended up finding two. Both of them were so like deep and Riley what didn't have his um, wetsuit on. He was bareback. Next minute, I see him putting his whole body in between this crack. What happens? It scratches up his whole back and we don't get the lobster. Is this a semi-formal occasion alone? Or should I be wearing a shirt? Good morning, Lenny. How are you today? Name, name is Lenny. Yeah, your name is Lenny. How old are you? I'm two. Good boy. And you're three soon, aren't you? Yeah. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. So we wanted to have a bit of a chat. We wanted, just wanted to update everyone about the trimaran and give give people a bit of an idea as to what has been sucking up a lot of my time. I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this process. What's the plural for dove? We, we always muck this up. Is it divin? <laughs> I've divin into all of this. So we're, we're contacting brands that we love and we're going like, hey, have we got a deal for you or you should work with us? So there's a, there's a couple that have just gone above and beyond that I really, really want to thank. That's Doyle Sales, famous reputation speaks for themselves. They recently the did our code D. And Ocean Vault. 
Yeah, yeah, they, they did our code D as well. She's beautiful. Ocean Vault, you're gonna hear a lot about them. And BNG with the electrics as well, they've just been fantastic. All next for the resin, Harken deck gear, Facnor furlers. So you would have heard me talk about our Halliard How swivel he here. His which is a small theme, but they do make good equipment. Spectra Watermaker, again, only the best. Master Vault batteries, they're gonna be really, really important for us. And then a bunch of other electrical equipment from them as well. As a content creator, or a, or as a, I don't know, just a YouTube dude, or people that are just making stuff on it, you, you're always hesitant to talk about brands and you only do the, these guys here are making the best stuff out there. And to be able to work with them, it's... It's a bit of a dream, like to be able cool, to have man. made our... <laughs> to be able to have made our hobby also our life and our job, like that's pretty awesome. It's like, I was saying to Riley the other day, it's like, it's like being able to build your dream home, but live in it and work in it at the same time. So that, that is that. Most of you would know that Vietnam is out of lockdown now and they've been building our boat. So the Amers are done and actually have been done for a long time and now they're working on the central hull. So we think that it should take We shouldn't put a timeline. Nah, nah, nah. We, we shouldn't. Your head will be here. My head will be here. We have... So this is interior stuff. Yeah, the 3D video is really great because we can get an idea of what each space looks like and what we want to do with it. And so we've made some big structural kind of decisions, things that will be done first, and then we can add the little bits and pieces later. So this daggerboard case, for example, I've just recently ordered old anatomy diagrams, uh, which we're going to paper mache to that. We say so like paper mache, but we mean like lacquer. So yeah, we want to order a bunch of posters to stick on there, like beautiful butterfly diagrams and oh, and pages out of books that we really like. Uh, faucets. Yeah, we want to go all copper throughout the galley and the heads. We're going to have copper faucets and shower. Old leather couch here. We're thinking the underside of this, we might actually make a blackboard for the kids. Yeah, so the table can flip up and we can brainstorm and write on the blackboard. This is pretty out there, I reckon, but I absolutely love this. Yeah, inspo so for the this galley. is the, yeah, the inspo for the galley. So all that should look pretty funky. And, and then, we will keep the cork flooring. We love the cork flooring, it's practical. They've convinced me finally to leave this as is. Or, I'm just gonna take Lenny to the toilet while you keep talking about that. On the original, it comes through like a wire, so I really wanted to be able to film from here and see the ocean, and I also wanted to be standing at the helm and be able to poke my head around and see Elena. I think that's it for now. That's uh, that's what's been, that's what we've been doing lately. It's good when we've got internet. Yeah, it's exciting. I, I, I'm not sure how early we're gonna be able to get to the boat and how much we'll be able to do ourselves now. Um, oh no, that's out the window. Yeah, which is a real shame. Okay, the children are melting. That's probably the only bit of update we can give you for now on the trimaran. But let us know what other things you'd like to know in the comments. What is it, Lenny? Lenny, look, dead fish. Dead fish? You want to touch it? You want to touch his eyeball? Yeah, I... <laughs> 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 Okay, look, I won't do it. Look, there you go. You touch its eye. <laughs> I put it in the water. Okay, good boy. Back to its mum. Back to its mum, yeah. <laughs> Did it swim away? It's swimming. It's sinking. It's sinking. Maybe he's sleeping. It's the circle of life, Lenny. <laughs> I feel sad. Does anyone have any, like, good books or any resources on how to teach your child about death? We just wanted to come to the beach this morning to take Lenny for a swim and to make some big decisions about the weather. Big decisions. No, it, we could have an uncomfortable night's sleep ahead if we don't play our cards right. So I'm just jumping onto the Predict Wind Offshore Weather app. Here's something you don't see every day in the Bahamas. Yeah, this is actually really odd. So the wind, as we go through, clocks, and it dies off, that's a good day to be on the water, clocks around like that. 
<laughs> That's insane. Yeah, there's like a 360 of wind. That is so annoying. Yeah. So we need either an all-weather anchorage or to sail somewhere in the middle of the night, probably. Right, so what's the conclusion then? Jeez, that's awfully close, darling. I've got the wide-angle lens. So we don't Well, we don't have an all-weather anchorage anywhere nearby. So if we go from where we are here, let me get the crosshairs, we'll go out and around, down through there, avoiding this uh, shallow water patch here, down... Down, oh no, keep going, keep going south, through, that'll be interesting in there. Down, 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 into here. And then we're protected from the north, the east and the west. It's far from perfect because the current is gonna be ripping through there. But that's the best thing that we've got kind of nearby. Um, that's our plan. Join us next week as we flee for shelter. There's some wild weather headed our way. Destiny, nanny, nanny, I do not.